Yeah, uh, under control. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Uh, that's my son Brian over there in that corner. He's uh, just melting away, trying to make a glass button at the moment. But for me, uh, the idea of tonight was to make a glass frog pipe. And I'm going to see what I can come up with. And and we're going to try to do it in the... Uh, in the 20 minute time zone if we can if if not 30 minutes okay so fudge it a little i've already got some fume tubing that i'm going to use it's all silver it's all uh, clear tubing so that's what we're going to use i'm not clear it's silver fume tubing so i'm not going to go through that process but i will leave the um down below the the little thing the link to sh tell you all about it sorry about the wind blowing on this thing i'll try to turn my head we are going to go ahead and turn over to the other uh position or the other camera so that you can see me just doing the glass work okay and i actually need to i've got the 10 liter per minute going oxygen concentrator and now i'm going to put on the other five just to play away looking good two holes and everything so with that let's see if we can't get this under control I've also in the chat room if somebody ever wants to pop in and say hi and uh, we'll see who, who who comes in and salutes it and uh, oh great we got something over the I didn't realize it until it might just be the the uh, it's it's moving, but it's not. Yeah, we are moving. Okay, I, I adjusted it, so no, it's still kind of wonky. Sorry, folks. Let me see if I can get that fuzz out of there. Give me a second. It's not not too dark. It's the uh, actual lens is a little dirty. Yeah, yeah, we have that with. Uh, few other things going on but we need the lens so that you can see more what's going on inside the flame so hopefully that does the trick uh, let me see yeah it's a lot clearer now um, and I'm going to leave it dark mainly because so again you could see what's going on inside the flame now first of all I'm going to warm in this fume tubing that I've already done and it's straight okay let's also get the 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 start the the timer I've got that going right here and please have faith with me get, have patience with me too carpe vitro and all that yeah here we go it's getting warm And again, if anybody shows up in the chat room, I am there. I can, you can type something in there, and I could say hi. I've got that right in front of me. But uh, I know I have not been doing too many shows here on my piping hot art glass channel, so I don't blame you for not being here live. Thank you anyway. So, one frog coming up. Tobacco pipe. I'm going to put a punte here on the end of this guy and keep it steady and round. Oops, I also got to resupport my blow hose a little. It's looking good so far. The tubing is up to spec so that I can play with it. Yeah, that's a possibility. Because it curves up and then curves down.
I'm uh, making enough bubble here. I've already, the head is that little nub there on the top. But now I'm uh, heating and puffing just slightly and making a little bit of a Maria, but a round ball Maria. And making enough tubing for the, the, the size of the body to be going on. A little bit more. Maybe use this whole piece of tubing. We'll see. Now that should be enough. Now I'm going to start uh, blowing it out. That's going to be enough for the body. Now I'm going to work in and do a little bit more for the head. And I think I'm going to use jade green for the uh, eyes and toes and stuff like that. And we'll see where that goes to. I'm pressing to make the shape for the head. Hope I didn't. Yeah, I did. Dang it. No, I didn't. Good. I thought it collapsed itself, but it didn't. It worked out good. Okay. You're fine. You okay? You're good. No problem. Just making sure. Okay. Now we're going to narrow at the neck here. And there's the head to the... Looking really good, by the way. Sorry about the wind. I had to reach over and get some jade green. Why did you do that for? Five minutes to go. We're in five minutes. We're doing good. Oh, I just did that, didn't I? I held it to it, and it, I was trying to switch hands with it, and at the time, no, it... Uh, it uh, adhered to the sidewall here. Well, we'll leave it and just do the eyes real quick. Oh, that's what I was going to do. That's why I was going to change hands. There's a little bit of clear where I made the encasement on this jade green. And I need some just straight jade green. So, here we go. Here's one eye to this frog. Here's the other eye. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the arms and legs in this thing. This is some silver fumed rod that I did. Um, and I guess I need to, to do an explanation on that. And I'll do a link to it. 
on how I made the silver fume rod going on here. And it's basically made from my um, fuming, Boros fuming rods that uh, can no longer get, I can no longer get the silver color out of. I heat twist pull and make it into a rod and get some silver fume color out of it that way. Okay. On to leg number two. There we go. And it's doing the job quite nicely. And I've still got room to do the um, the bowl. And the bowl is going to be going in the bottom belly of the, the frog, which is a pretty cool deal. And uh, we're hoping that, hoping, yeah, I know that it'll work. Here we go. Now we're going to do the back legs. Seal it in well. And this is the type of leg that I've been doing with my leg frog legs lately. It folds forward. And then folds back like so. I'm also going to heat that up and stretch it out slightly. And I'll put the uh, toes on it in just a minute. We've got to get this, keep it going here. Keep it. <sighs> Working on leg number four. Back leg number two, leg number four. You heat it on, make sure it's sealed together well. I know I have not done too many tobacco pipe videos, and I need to. I need to do more of everything. Um, I am going to try very hard, try very hard to keep up on everything. And it's going to be a little harder for me, but I think. It'll be a good hard, not a bad hard. There's leg number two. Looking good, looking very good. I'm going to use a graphite paddle now. And I'm gonna flatten him out just slightly so that I can make sure that he's gonna stand like so. Looking good. Okay, now we're going to add the the bowl part. First, you do a nice little bowl blow hole, just a little tiny one. right in the center where you needed it. Now I'm going to heat up that whole area. Make sure it doesn't collapse. But you don't need a big, huge hole there because as you punch it in, it will ream and widen itself out, which we're gonna do right now. Punch, push, and blow. And now you got Nice little hole there in the middle, doing good. Now we're gonna tilt the head up slightly. And put some toes on this sucker. And the tail, we're going to leave a little long. I know frogs don't have tails, but in this case, we need something to hold onto the pipe with. Tilt that up a little bit. It needs to be heated and bent slightly. It's looking good otherwise. There it goes. You just got to nudge it. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Sometimes. 
looking good. One eye got a little bit further back than the other. So you pull one forward and one, actually no, that did the trick. Still got to blow a hole in the front for the, uh, in the front of the mouth there. And in this pipe, you could actually kiss his mouth or kiss his tail, whichever you prefer. And I only usually put two toes on anything that I do. Yeah, I know. We're doing good. Next. Two toes on the front there and two toes to go on the two back legs. We're getting there. You got to continually warm it, make sure everything's hot and nice and mean and even. Because it's part of the it's part of the plan. You don't want it to kachunk on you. <laughs> I like that word kachunk. There's another toe there, and I need to do two more here on this side. And this frog is basically ready to go. Toe one, toe two. Oh, yeah, looking good. Yeah, he is for sale. Yeah, he's for sale. All the stuff I do is for sale. You just got to get a hold of me, that's all. If you're interested in something in particular, and also with my glass pipes, if you have a request of something that you'd like to see done into a pipe, it never hurts to ask. I don't know if this is this is one. For some reason, one of my machines is maybe not enough air going through it or something. I don't know. We're okay otherwise. Okay. We're going to do a blow hole here for the uh, in the mouth. Now, what I usually do is I get it started. We're right there in the mouth where I'm going to put it. But because we already have a hole in existing in the piece, you got to plug that hole. There we go. Just enough. Looking really, really good. Uh, now I'm going to stretch out where the tail is. And we're going to call try to call it quit. Oh, yeah. I got to start using my tools that I have available, which is this claw here to sort of Okay. We're getting there. Warming it up, warming it in, warming it over. Getting back to the tail here. I'm just going to stretch it out, keep it going, thin it out, not really thin it out, it's it's heavy wall, don't get me wrong there, I just so it's nice and long enough to, to do the trick here, and now, oh yeah, blow it off. 
Uh, I guess not because I have two holes or I usually only have one. And I say that because I usually put a punte up here and work on the back end. But because I've done what I've done, Seventeen minutes. We're getting there. And looking good, by the way. Got to flatten down the frog a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to open up where the mouthpiece is going to go. And that's going to be really interesting, people. All you got to do is sort of heat up, pinch and pull real fast. I guess I'm not pinching and pulling fast enough. Oh, I got an idea. That's not helping either. It's sort of wicketing back and forth. There we go. And it's got a hole. Not a big hole, but a hole. Brian, the... Uh, yeah. Actually, no. We'll use this. Flare it out a little bit. There we go. Pinch it a little bit. And pull off some of that. I'm just being a perfectionist with my work here. The one side of the wall is a little bit thick. There we go. Graphite rod. And I'm going to call this one quits. Okay. Take it easy, Brian. Love you too. Trying to make it even. Now. Flame it out. I'm sorry it keeps adjusting, people. That's one of the things I've got to understand and stop the auto adjust on this thing somehow. But we'll get there. And we have one frog pipe with 21 minutes on the clock. Thank you very much for your time and effort for watching. And as always, Carpe Vitro.